Hi, in this tutorial, we're gonna be implementing a singular drinks page. So we're gonna be using dynamic routes that we created in the previous tutorials to get a specific ID or drinks. And then using that ID, we're gonna fetch the information from the API and render that on a single page. Go with Sloba. So in our application, let's open up the file that we're gonna be implementing in this tutorial. So this is inside of the bar folder, in the ID folder and this is the page that we're gonna be implementing. So this is the single drinks page. If you click on our application on the bar page, so if you click on some of the drinks, in the URL, we get this ID. So using this ID, we wanna fetch the data just specific to this cocktail or this drink. So first, let's add the URL that we're gonna be fetching. So let's create a constant on the top here and let's create a URL. So the base URL is gonna be exactly the same as we did in the bar page here. So we can copy this entire, or actually we can copy this entire URL and we're just gonna modify it. So let's replace this const URL. And now instead of this search, we just wanna add a different ending. So we wanna add lookup, lookup.php and just add this question mark, I and equals. And here we're just gonna add the index because this stands for index. Now let's create a new function and this function is gonna do the actual fetching. So let's name it as get drink. And this is gonna be asynchronous operation and we wanna provide an ID as we said here. And we're just gonna return back. So here we wanna store the response inside of a new variable and let's name it as response. And we wanna await for fetch to complete. Now for fetch, we wanna provide the ID and the URL. So first we wanna add the URL and then to append the ID at the end of this index here. So we're just gonna add the ID here, like so. And now we wanna check if the response is okay. So if response is okay, or actually if it's not okay, we wanna show the error. If it's not okay, let's throw new error. And let's say something like failed to fetch a drink like this. Okay. If response is okay, we want to return the response and convert that to JSON like this. And now we can call this function inside of our drink page here. But before we call our get drink function, we need to make this drink page as asynchronous. Async. And now let's store the information that we are getting from this get drink to a new variable and let's name this variable is data and now we can call await get drink and as a parameter we want to send params.id so this is the id once again that we are getting here from the url and now we can just console log what we are getting so that we are sure that we are getting the right information so let's console log data here let me save this let me open up a terminal and here we are logging the ID, we can remove that. And if we say once again, you can see that we get this information and this is correct information. So we are getting this Zoc cell. So let's say that we wanna get back to the bar and let's say that you wanna click on Zorro. Now if we scroll down, let's see the name. So string drink is the Zorro, we get this ID and we get this like instructions or how to make this cocktail. So we're gonna use this to display this on the page. So let's first extract this information. So first we wanna extract the name. So const name is equal to data and I wanna check if data exists. So that's why I add a question mark. And if data exists, we wanna access the drinks property. And once again, even though this is a single drink, they are storing it inside of this drinks array. And then they just provide the single value. So we need to check the first item in the array. So drinks, uh, zero index, and then we want to access the str str drink the next value that i want to access here is thumbnail so str drink thumb so i'm just going to copy paste this entire line because it's very similar and i'm just going to rename this variable to thumb because this stands for thumbnail and the last one is description so i want to do the same copy paste str instead of drink we want to use instructions. So this is an instruction on how to create this cocktail. And for the variable name, we can use the same instructions. And now let's log all this information to see if it works. So let's log the name. Let's log the thumb and let's log 
instructions. Okay, and now let's open the terminal. Let me scroll to the very bottom and we get the first one is name. The second one is the URL of the thumbnail and the last one is the instructions on how to create this cocktail. So now let's render this on our page. I can remove the logs. I want to remove this string here. And the first thing that I want to add here is the actual link to get back to the bar page. So as you can see, if we go to the bar, if you click on a single uh, drinks page here, we don't have an option here to return back. So we need to click on the navigation. So what I want to do is I want to add a new button or a link. So let's import the link from next link here. And I want to say here back and let's provide href. And this is just going to route back to the bar. So slash bar. So we have it here. So let's add a class name to make it like a button. So let's add a class name and let's style it as a button, button dash primary. And let's add some margin on top. So it's not this close to this Jumbotron margin top. Let's add eight and let's add some margin on the bottom. So it's not close to the title and description margin bottom, let's say 10. And this looks much better now. So if you click on the back, we should get back to the index bar page and let's click on one of these, nice. So below the link, let's add H1. So this is gonna be for the title and let's just render the name of the drink like so, and let's add some classes. So let's add uh, text dash for Excel and let's add some margin on the bottom, margin bottom eight. And let's add instructions on the bottom. So let's add a paragraph, add a description so instructions and we get mixed together and enjoy. So this is very simple. Let's try some other one to see if there's more detailed instruction on how to create a cocktail. And as you can see, we get it here. So in regards to the thumbnail, we're going to cover that in the next tutorials because we want to cover uh, multiple aspects of images in Next.js, but for this tutorial, this is enough. So you have seen how we can use dynamic IDs to fetch the specific information and render that on our pages in the next tutorial. And if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.